Thanks for watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a uh, fan favorite. I have Paul Engel <laughs> from the library, where I'm on the board of trustees. Good to see you, Paul. Hi, Mark. How are you? I'm great. Um, so we've got a lot of things exciting going on at the library, but one thing we don't ever get a chance to talk about, we talk about it in trustees meetings, mm -hmm. is maintenance of the building. Yes. The boring stuff, okay? But the library, 1912, 1913, there's a cornerstone that says one year, people call, call right. it the other year. But we have never really maintained the brick infrastructure of the front of the library until now. Right. The scaffolding up. It, it, it's scaffolding like a war up. zone over there. Tell us about <laughs> it. Tell us what we're doing. Well, the scaffolding is up. Uh, the library is still very much open, and we will be open throughout the repointing process. But what we're doing is we're repointing the brick. And what that means is that the, the mortar in between the brick over time uh, thins, it wears out. It's just sand and cement. Right. And you have to go in and, and, and repoint that. So you basically scratch it up, make a rough surface, and then you, then you add mortar in there yeah. and fill it to about maybe a quarter of an inch to the brick surface. And what that does is it protects the uh, exterior of the building and prevents water from getting in through the brick. Right. And if you ever notice, there are spots in the library where the, where the paint's kind of peeling and, yeah. and on, the, on the old section, and that's because water had, had gotten in. And um, one of the main reasons to, to do this is to protect that beautiful uh, works project administration mural right. uh, that I know many years before I got here uh, was in, in pretty bad shape. So yeah. we don't want to see that happen again. And, no. and the, the trustees, when I, when I brought it to you guys, they were very supportive. You thought it was a very good use of our state aid to libraries. And so we're getting the work done, and, and uh, Fullen Waterproofing is in doing it. They're a local company, then I think they're in Easton. Yeah. Uh, so they're doing a great job, and we're working with another local uh, architect, MM&T, uh, McKinnell, McKinnell, and Taylor. Okay. And they're, I think, in Bridgewater, maybe? Somewhere okay. down that way. But So we have local people in doing the work, um, and, and uh, we've got, it's, it's, so far it's going great. I've had no complaints, I've had no issues, and um, we're just looking forward to it being done probably before summer really gets rolling. Great. Great. Yeah. So, we'll, and then we'll be able to take some nice pictures of That's it right. and promote it even more yeah. than we're doing. Um, history of Brockton is very important. It okay. is. Okay. Uh, I saw a photo today on the Stan Bowman website, the, the collection from Stonehill, and it had a picture of Stan Bowman back in the day, and he would have been, I don't know what the age was, I think it was 100. I think he would have been 100 today. Okay. And it was a cool picture. But if you think about it, there's so many parts to the history of Brockton. There's Edison, there's Marciano, and then again, there's your own history. Right. If you have been a Brocktonian for a long time, a short time, you might have a picture of yourself at D.W. Field Park, mm -hmm. or you might have a picture of yourself at a restaurant that no longer exists, right. like Christo's. Right. So on the 18th of May, mm -hmm. we're doing something called the Mass Memories Roadshow. Right. Uh, it's part of the Digital Commonwealth, and UMass Boston's involved. So tell us what's going on. There's all sorts of things going to be happening that day. It's a busy day for everybody. I know that. There are graduations on the 18th. My daughter's graduating from UMass Lowell. Yeah. Uh, but the, 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 the important thing to remember is that the, the participation from the, from the citizens of Brockton at the Mass Memories Roadshow can be as little as a half hour. So you can get in, get out. We're asking people to bring photographs or letters or newspaper clippings or any kind of artifact that, that describes or, or, or documents some aspect of the history of Brockton and, and their personal history in Brockton, mm -hmm. how they got here. Um, it could be uh, they had a, a grandparent or a great-grandparent that worked in the shoe industry in town. Anything's game. Uh, I've heard people talking about letters that uh, from the first, uh, uh, the, the only... Um, uh, uh, Brocktonian who became mayor uh, mayor of Boston? No, uh, governor of Massachusetts. Douglas. Yes. Governor Douglas. Yeah, we have yep. Governor Douglas letters that people have talked about. So we want the, want you to bring these things in and sit down across the table from a, from a, a volunteer from uh, UMass Boston, and they'll collect the information from you. You can tell your story. They'll they'll write it down, or if you write it down be beforehand, make sure it's legible, and then they'll scan that document that you bring in and attach that that conversation that you had so that we have metadata that describes that picture. So when it goes up on, on, on UMass Boston's website, it will be um, something that's searchable and, 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 and it'll tell the story of Brockton 
from the people who have lived the story of Brockton. Mm -hmm. And we're really hoping for a good turnout on this. And, and it's, it's something that, that's, that doesn't have to end with the, the Memories Roadshow. That could can, that can be the beginning. Then we can, one thing I'm thinking about doing is, is if I can get some, some help from my staff, and, and I haven't asked them yet, but is maybe set up a digitization day every month where we have people can bring in their stuff and continue this, this conversation. And we'll help with video because there's a video yes. component that day you don't have to just write it down and do the picture there's right. going to be a video room that yep. you can go into and talk different groups like the brockton historical society are going to be there mm -hmm. i know the downtown brockton history yep. museum people are into this this is cool you just reminded me by the way about governor douglas i lived in that house i rented oh, yeah? an apartment <laughs> in the house itself and in the carriage house. Wow. It was cool, the landlord owned those two buildings, he owned two other apartments. I didn't really stray far from where I grew up on Ash Street. Ash Street is the Harold Bent playground. I got all sorts of stuff. I'm trying yeah. to find the letter that I wrote to the then city clerk when I was 13 years old, <laughs> asking about how you got involved in the political process. Wow. And after he retired, he was cleaning out his files and he mailed it back to me. Yes. Now, I, God knows where it is, so I gotta go through all my stuff mm -hmm. and see if I can find it. But um, right now we're working on a little tribute over at the Historical Society at Carl Landerholm. Mm -hmm. And I had a picture, the last thing I was able to do before Carl got sick is he held the banner for the Alumni Association and I graduated from Brockton High and I found a great picture of him and I holding the banner. So I just sent that to Nicole at the Historical mm -hmm. Society so it's going in our little tribute book. But there are people that I, I have, I have a, a friend of mine who has he had ancestors that went back years. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the hours for that event is 10 to 3? 10 to 3, yep. Okay, right at the main library. Main library, just walk in the White Avenue entrance and go to your right. Okay. We'll, have a, we'll have a person greeting you right there at the door. Okay, and if you want to find out everything that's going on at the library, best place to go is? Uh, www.brocktonpubliclibrary.org. Okay. And go to the events calendar. And the phone number is 508-580-7890 for yes, the main library. The main library. I never know what the two branches no. are, but uh, they're good too. And we're, we're working, we're hopeful for a really good city budget process mm -hmm. where the library will stay funded to the level it is. We thank the foundation Absolutely. for their supplemental work. There's museum passes, anything and everything at the library. Yeah. We've got to thank the foundation and, and the trustees for their help uh, renovating the basement room at, at West. Yep. Definitely. Yes, thank so, you. For the... Thanks for all your work, and we'll have you back all for right, June. Mark. Thank you. Thanks, Paul. Watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.